Suspense. Hey there, welcome back to the Blackstack channel, the ultimate hub for elite cyber ops, hacking labs, and advanced tool walkthroughs. Today, oh boy, today we're diving deep into a tool that's not just powerful, but extremely flexible if used responsibly. Sit tight, this one's going to get intense. Hype. Yes, you heard it right. We're about to explore Quasar RAT, the remote administration tool that lets you control machines like a pro. Remember, this is strictly for lab testing and educational purposes. Safety first, brain second, skill third. Let's go. Tool intro Quasar RAT, a lightweight, open source, and insanely powerful RAT designed for Windows environments. Today, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step, from downloading it safely, setting it up, to actually running it in your controlled lab environment. Every single detail counts, so pay attention. Use OK. So first, let's open Google Chrome and search for Quasar RAT. Now let's open the first GitHub link by Quasar. Head over to the Releases tab. There you'll see a file. Click on it. Then in the Assets section, click Quasar.zip. Looks like Chrome blocked the download, marking it as dangerous. No worries. Navigate to the three dots in the top right corner, then select Settings. Next, click Privacy and Security, scroll to Safe Browsing, and turn it off. Yes, this allows us to download the Quasar RAT zip file. Your choice to enable or disable. I'm not forcing anything here. Now download the zip again. Open the zip and extract all files. Close the previous File Explorer window to keep things clean. Navigate to the official Quasar RAT folder and run it by double-clicking the Quasar.exe file. Here it asks to create a certificate. Click Create. It might take a while. Be patient. Now let's continue. There it is. Our main screen. On the upper left corner, you'll see tabs like File, Builder, Settings, and more. For now, let's go to the Builder tab, since we are building our RAT. Here we have multiple options, including Basic Settings, Connection, Settings Installation, Settings Assembly, Settings Monitoring Settings. Let's go to Connection Settings. Here we need the host IP. You can open a terminal and run ipconfig to find your IP and use it in the host field strictly for educational or lab testing purposes. My Wi-Fi has security restrictions, so I'll use 127.0.0.1. Yes, I know some of you are commenting that this only works on your current machine. Exactly. That's why I'm using 127.0.0.1, safe, secure, controlled environment. Now set up other settings as you prefer or follow along with what I'm doing. After this, build the RAT and save it to the downloads folder. Next, let's run it on the client device. Navigate to the settings tab and click start listening. Boom, connection established. Now the fun part, what you can do, open File Explorer, Run CMD commands, edit the registry, shut down or restart the computer. Perform almost any action on the machine, safely and in your lab. Let's test a few things real quick, though the video is already long enough. Talk about pros, cons. Now let's talk real. Quasar RAT is insanely powerful. Pros, flexibility, speed, open source, tons of features. Cons, misuse can cause chaos. Your IP might leak if used improperly, and mistakes can be disastrous outside a lab. Always remember, knowledge without responsibility is dangerous. Power comes with responsibility. Powerful tools like this, they're a double-edged sword. Handle them wisely. Every action you take in the digital world echoes. So practice, experiment, but always in a safe sandbox. Respect the power. Good use. Use it for learning, penetration testing, lab simulations, and improving your understanding of system security. Remember, the real world isn't a playground, but your lab can be. Bye-bye, asking to like, share, subscribe. And that's it for today's walkthrough on Quasar Rat. If you found this video helpful, make sure to smash that like button, share it with your fellow hackers, and don't forget to subscribe for more elite Blackstack content. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload, and remember, Stay curious, stay dangerous, and stay ethical. Until next time, bye-bye.